Good morning, guys. Tony Maritato here. So if you are a physical therapist, occupational therapist, or speech language pathologist, and you're thinking about joining the Medicare network, if you're in the state of Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee, you're going to be working with Palmetto GBA, Jurisdiction J. So behind me on the screen, you can see I've got the homepage pulled up. I'm recording this video to show you how to find various resources for that specific Mac. But basically what you're going to do is you're going to come here and I'll put the link for this on the video description below. You're going to click, click part B. Over here on the left, you can see information like fee schedules. So if you want to look up reimbursement rates for various CPT codes, if you're wondering about joining Medicare as a contracted provider, you can check the fee schedules here. You can look for medical policies to determine coverage and help make your coverage criteria guidelines. But also you can check out the e-services component of this website. So a lot of providers, once they become contracted, you can find provider enrollment information here in the middle. Uh, once they become contracted, they, they're trying to figure out how to send claims to Medicare. And if you don't have a high enough volume of claims, you might not want to pay for an expensive EMR or you might not want to pay for a uh, clearinghouse to submit claims for you. So you can come here, you can create an account through their e-services um, and use their Mac portal. And you're going to find all of the information you need here. But if you're desperate and you can't find it, if you type in e-services in the search bar what will happen is it'll come here you can see top results it'll take you out to this page i no longer have an active account with them but this is where you would create your new account so you come down here you'd create your account what most macs are going to request is information about your last payment so you can see here like provider name contact email all your normal stuff um, your you would choose I am or work for the provider. You'd put your PTAN, your MPI. That's going to be your organizational MPI, your business PTAN, your tax ID, line of business. So you're going to find your state. You're going to choose Part B. Um, this is where you're going to run into a little bit of issue. So most recent Medicare payment amount received or access code. If you click Learn More. They're gonna have some information over here, Medicare payment received. You haven't received the Medicare payment, so you're gonna end up calling one of the support lines and they will help walk you through the rest of the process. So once you get this set up, once you get your e-services set up, you can go through, you can create a claim, manually create a claim in the e-services account. You can submit that claim when you receive payment you'll have to have some other software to, to post those payments to keep track of, you know, balances due, what the contract adjustments are, if the secondary has been billed, if there's a patient responsibility, you need a software to generate um, a patient invoice. If there is an invoice due, that will be saved for another video. But I just wanted you guys to see, you can go to the Mac portal, for Palmetto GBA, they call it e-services. For Florida, they call it Spot. For Ohio, it's MyCGS. Every Mac is going to have a different Mac portal, but there is a lot of functionality. So as soon as you get approved to be contracted as a Medicare provider, go and create your Mac portal login. Thanks, guys. If you have other questions, just let me know.